Now in this lesson, I'm going to show you how we can connect to Prometheus data source and then we can create a panel in Grafana. So in order to create data source, we need to go to configuration and then click on data sources. And then here we need to select add data source. And then we need to select Prometheus. Just click on select. And then here it is uh, going to ask for all the settings related to Prometheus. So here we need to give the details of Prometheus server. So it is asking for which URL our Prometheus is installed and running on. So this is the one basically we just need to uh, pass it on here. So I'm just going to give this URL. And then uh, this is the name of the data source. So by default it is called Prometheus, but this is just the logical name. If you want to change it to anything else, you can do that. Now if you just scroll down, uh, all other settings are not required because we have not uh, enabled any authentication in Prometheus. So we, we are just good. You can just scroll down, click on save and test. And if everything is good, it is going to say that data source is working. So we can now click on back. And once you click on back, you can see that you, you can now see a data source under Prometheus. Okay, so uh, just before we move on, I'm just going to go to Prometheus here. This is a Prometheus uh, graphical user interface. And here I'm just going to, uh, previously I shown you that we can run up in order to see how many of the nodes are up. And we also saw that we have installed node exporter on this node and we can see it is currently showing a status of one, which means uh, it is currently up and running. Now I'm going to run another query, which is going to give us a CPU utilization. And I'm going to click on execute and we also need to change it from table to graph. So I'm going to click on graph. And this is how it shows in a graphical interface of uh, Prometheus. Uh, as you can see here, uh, probably Prometheus, when it comes to user interface, is not really as good as uh, Grafana. And that is the reason uh, we generally do not rely on Prometheus user interface. We always uh, try to create all the beautiful visualization in Grafana. So now I'm going to use the same query in Grafana and going to create a dashboard. So now we can uh, click on plus now and click on dashboard. And then we are going to say add an empty panel. And once we do that, we are going to be coming here. Now in the data source, just make sure you have selected the data source which you created. So in this case, Prometheus is the data source which we need. And then here we can give the query Prometheus query. Okay, so here I'm going to paste the query which we just, uh, which we executed here. And now here you can see, uh, you can already see the data has started coming here. Now this dashboard is looking quite busy. So probably uh, we can change from the last six hours, we can change it to be last 15 minutes. And then we can see the data here. Okay. And if you just scroll, uh, scroll towards or move towards right hand side, there is an option of giving panel title. So this is a panel title, which you see here. Now I'm going to change it to CPU load. And then we can click on save or we can click on apply. So if you click on apply, now you can see here, we can see CPU load dashboard or CPU load related data. Now we are going to learn lots of other settings in uh, next lesson. So stay tuned and see you again in the next lesson.